kept at the Ship Museum among some of the famous vessels of modern Greece is the ship behind me, the Olympias. It's an exact seagoing replica of a trireme, one of the most legendary vessels of ancient times. Ships like these became the pride of the ancient Greek navy and the terror of the Mediterranean Sea. All we know about triremes comes from the playwright Aeschylus, the founder of Greek tragedy. In his eyewitness report, he tells us of the triremes defeating the Persian invaders in the Battle of Salamis, despite being severely outnumbered. No original trireme pieces were ever found, let alone an entire vessel. All that remained was the drama Aeschylus wrote, until archaeologists uncovered ancient trireme storage sheds. We can sit 170 rowers, horsemen. I had made an appointment with Admiral Ioannis Kolignatis, who had spent five years piecing together the clues to reconstruct this legendary Greek warship. Mm. Yes. Tell me, how did you know how long the trireme should be? Uh, let's start from the length. Mm. Regarding the length, uh, we know the length of the ancient sets, where mm. the trees were kept and uh, their length could not be longer than what is the length of the set, mm -hmm. which is approximately of the order of 110 feet. Right. The sheds also told them that the ships must have been about 14 feet wide. And the geography of Greece added another clue. Given that triremes landed on beaches, their draft couldn't have been more than three to four feet. But also practical experience gained during the reconstruction process, together with ancient records, helped shape the picture of what the legendary warship must have looked like. What sort of wood did you use to make the boat? The hull is made of uh, pine. Mm -hmm. wood. And in some sele selected places, oak. From the forests of Attica, which were full of uh, pine trees at that period. Right. Pine wood and a shallow keel made the trireme particularly fast and agile, allowing the ancients to skim across the water almost like a hydrofoil. Another crucial source to the secret of the trireme was a list of Athenian naval supplies found in the 19th century. It included 170 oars classified as 62 for the top deck and 54 each for the middle and lower decks. <laughs> 